Google's Find My Device network is now officially called Find Hub. It's technically the same, but it includes a couple of new features or neat little features that I think you need to know about. So yeah, this is everything you need to know about Find Hub, formerly Find My Device. Before we get into it though, how about you do me a huge favor and hit that subscribe button. You get some nice stuff and some nice things to watch and I get some nice new friends who join me here on the channel. We're all happy, we're all together. Cheers. So as part of the Android show that was recently aired, Google confirmed that Find Hub is gonna be the brand new name for Find My Device. And for those that have no idea what Find Hub is or what Find My Device was, it's basically the Android or Google equivalent of Apple's Find My Network. The Find Hub network uses Bluetooth signals from nearby Android devices, with user permission, I might add, to pinpoint the location of any of your lost items. The more Android phones that actually participate in the network, technically the stronger and more effective you'll become. This means you'll have a better chance at finding your lost items, even in crowded places, but that's in ideal situations. It's a fairly simple concept that gets more complex as you start to delve deeper into it. One of the biggest bonuses is that lots of devices are now compatible with the Find Hub or Find My Device app. The most obvious is your smartphone, for most phones already out there, this will only work if your phone is powered on, but there are actually lots of newer devices from the likes of Samsung, OnePlus, Oppo, Xiaomi, and Google with their Pixel lineup, including the Pixel 8 and Pixel 9, that will work with your phone powered off or powered down. So if you do lose your phone and the battery dies, you should be able to locate it at least for a few days or at least until that device gets some charge and you do manage to get it back. Later this year though, Find Hub would also support connecting to your phone using satellite connectivity. Yes, you heard me correctly there, satellite connectivity. So this means that you can locate your phone or even the person with that phone, even if they are, well, effectively off grid. And I think this is probably the biggest and most important upgrade to the service because it gives you a little bit more peace of mind. It won't work though if your phone is powered off and lost in a remote location, but while powered on, it will allow you to locate friends and family, which I think is a definite bonus in my book. So since the admittedly rocky launch of the Find My Device Network, there've been lots of Bluetooth trackers joining the party as it were, and there've been a lot of launched in that time as well. There are even luggage options set to come in future with integration directly with integrated trackers with that Find Hub connectivity. Even some ski manufacturers out there are gonna offer integrated trackers into specific skis to help you find them on the slopes, that said, I'm not really sure there's gonna be many people out there with Android phones on, on ski slopes, but there isn't necessarily a ton of options. That's a problem at this point in time, even 12 months on, but the options are growing. And I will say, uh, while the Moto Tag from Motorola is probably the biggest and best out there, it has ultra wideband connectivity that will now allow you to track that actual tracker itself in 3D space using the Finder application. It's the first to do so, and we are hoping to see more as time progresses. So after phones and trackers, Lots of accessories should be trackable using the Find Hub application. So think earbuds, headphones, and other random little things that basically all OEMs are, are trying to offer at this point in time. They might not work fully all of the time as with like earbuds, for instance, they're not technically always being tracked until they're connected, but you should be able to track at least the last position or ping those devices like the Pixel Buds Pro 2 that have a speaker on them for a lot to allow you to find them. I think this is where we need more devices to properly help build out this Find Hub network, but it is still growing. It is only, as I say, as the video going live, around about 12 or so months since it was officially launched. Later this year, though, you will be able to share your location of your things or luggage with airlines, including Aer Lingus, British Airways, Cathay Pacific, Iberia, and Singapore Airlines. This means you'll be able to share tracker location or luggage location or anything that's lost to prevent your things potentially traveling any further or going any missing any further as it were, which I think is something we do get stressed about. Every single person out there gets, gets stressed about while tra traveling. And I just hope this comes to more airlines as it looks like one of those things which makes them accountable for losing luggage. It's something that, yeah, I'd like to see more of. Let's get into how you track your stuff though, as this is the most important thing here. All of your things, think phones, tablets, watches, earbuds, luggage, tags, and all of that jazz, is all tracked within the Find Hub or Find My Device application. It should be renamed for, by, to Find Hub as, as you're viewing this video, but it might not have renamed on your phone just yet. So if you are looking for it, just look for Find My Device and it should show up. The app itself is super simple. It is set up straight away to add your biometric information. So once you've added that login and it should have an option for devices and an option for people. To view your things, just tap the devices option and then tap Find Nearby once you've selected it. You get options to play sounds and get hints. At least for this video going live, you don't have the option to reorder these, but yeah, it is what it is for now. 
the directions that you'll get and the hints that you'll get are a little bit vague. So it will just show things like devices close or very close. Then when you practice on top of the thing you're trying to find, it'll say it's here. The indicator is just a little filled shape and material U shape for that instance. It's a little bit abstract, I must admit. For phones and tablets, you'll only get a map position indicator, at least in our testing, which is a little less useful. And I do hope that this does evolve over time as well. If you have Nest speakers in your home though, Find Hub will use those as a location reference point for you to actually track them. So for instance, you might see last near, seen near a kitchen speaker and the time that it was pinged by your device. I know that's not perfect, but it is a little bit extra helpful than it is currently. You can also share any tag you own, but you can't yet share your phone's location from the Find Hub app for whatever reason. Maybe that's because of the new people options, but you can stop sharing whenever you're ready. The theory is that privacy is a top priority for Google with Find Hub, and in our experience, it does seem to be the case. And that's why the network is designed to be with extra robust security measures in place. Location data is encrypted, meaning only you and those that you choose to share items with can access this. Google itself cannot see or use your location information. And to prevent unwanted tracking, the network itself employs a clever feature which they call aggregation by default. Think of this, or at least I think this somewhat nerfs the network, but it does mean that multiple Android devices do need to confirm the location of something that's lost before it is reported, making it much harder for someone to track you without your knowledge. Additionally, the Find Hub network is not activated by default on your phone or any other hardware. You need to go into the application itself or download it to set it up. Otherwise, it's not available. I'd also advise you to do this during that initial setup process of your phone or go do that now while you're watching this video. But if you do have any tags and accessories that work with the Find Network, they will guide you through that process and activate it on your phone. Find Hub has also recently upgraded to allow you to track your friends, family and contacts directly within the application. I really like this option. It's a little bit like how Find My Friends works on iPhones, but here on Android, it's in a separate tab within a, the unified application. You can share your real-time location within the app itself with contacts, and it will show you the street you're on and the battery level of your device, which is another bonus. You can also share a link with the person or an external contact, and this will create a dedicated web link and a little web page where you can see where the person is, even if they're not logged in. And this is going to be useful for people out there who potentially have Mac and iOS devices, as it allows them to track certain things and get positions of all that kind of stuff. But I would say be mindful that anyone can use this URL and it's less secure as a result of that, but it is going to be useful in a pinch if you need it with other people and other devices. By default, you will share your location for up to an hour, but you can stop it at any time for that added safety and peace of mind. And it does break those URLs I just mentioned as well. As for availability, Find Hub is available on Android devices running at Android 6 or higher. That means you can open the application and use it. But the Find Hub network, which it all hinges on, does require your phone to be running Android 9 or higher. But that is a, it's, at this point in time, it's quite a substantial amount of devices out there in the world today. The Find Hub network is also designed to be compliant with industry standards for unwanted tracking. This means your Android device can potentially detect unknown Bluetooth trackers with you or around you and alert you to their presence. And in my experience, sometimes falsely, if you do happen to have air tags in your possession, but it's better than not doing that at all, I must admit. The functionality also aligns with Apple's iOS 17.5 update, which it was added back then, which does have alert trackers or unknown alert trackers for their Find My network, and it works cross, cross borders here as well. I think if you're planning on picking up any devices that will work with the Find Hub network, then be on the lookout for the works with Find Hub or works with Find My Device logo that should be on the box or the product page of the thing you're trying to order. There are lots of brands working on more things to be added here, and I do think that's only a good thing, and it hopefully will get more robust over time. But yeah, hopefully that clears up some of the confusion and questions about this rebrand or what Find Hub is versus what Find My Device is. It's one and the same, and it does make a lot of sense for them to put it all under one banner, but yeah. Hopefully that, as I say, answers all the questions. If you have any of your own, drop them down below. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video and it helped you out. But yeah, thanks for watching and I'll speak to you later.